in the world of wildlife. Survival is never easy. The danger lurks everywhere, and each animal is like an actor, sometimes playing the role of the majestic predator, but sometimes having to play a very poor prey. The law of evolution forces them to adapt and constantly improve life skills to continue to exist. Just a minute of negligence, they can be immediately eliminated from the game. For a top predator like a crocodile, a piece of fatty food that suddenly just comes to the mouth without even having to waste time looking for it is always a very attractive thing for them. However, it is not always possible to see everything by appearances alone thought that it was easy, but it's not. Today, let's join the Animal World channel to discover the encounter between the baboons and the killer crocodiles. Let's see, the little baboon against a crocodile, a notorious predator. Let's go. Baboons against the swamp killer crocodiles. The first is the crocodiles, that belongs to the family Crocodilia, which is the most senior of all reptiles. Crocodiles are very fond of aquatic environments. They live over a wide area of the tropical regions of Africa, Asia, North America, South America, and Oceania. They tend to live in slow-moving rivers and lakes, and their food source is quite diverse, mainly live animals or even dead mammals and fishes. Some crocodile species can be 5 to 6 meters long and weigh about 1,200 kilograms. However, at birth, crocodiles are only about 20 centimeters. The largest crocodile species is a saltwater crocodile that lives in northern Australia and the Southeast Asia. The head is flat and the snout is long. Eyes are located very high up and the nostrils and the ears both have water stop valves. The legs are large and short and the front feet have five toes and the hind legs have four toes. The crocodile's tail is very strong, flattened on the side and shaped like a rowing boat. Crocodiles have a four-chambered heart, diagram and a cerebral cortex. This feature makes it considerate to be more evolved than other amphibians. Crocodiles are carnivores and excellent hunters, with sharp teeth that can crush their prey in a blink of an eye. Just hearing this makes me feel worried for the victims of a crocodile attack. Although they have extremely strong jaws and sharp teeth for tearing flesh apart, they cannot open their mouth if it is tightly closed. So there are several stories of people surviving from the Nile crocodile. The elongated body helps them swim faster when swimming. They also squeeze their feet close to the body to reduce water resistance. A crocodile's brain is small in size, like other reptiles, but fully developed. Crocodiles have a very good sense of smell, and at the bottom of the crocodile's throat, there are two radiation glands and two more in the cloaca. Thanks to these glands, crocodiles can communicate and recognize each other through smell. Crocodile ears are quite sensitive, and the ears are right behind the eyes, and are all converted. The parent crocodiles usually respond to a call of the cubs, and when being surrounded by people or during the breeding period, the male and the female crocodiles growl or squeal to easily recognize each other. Crocodile eyes can see clearly both during the day and at night, and the position of the two crocodile eyes gives it a large viewing angle both horizontally and vertically. Crocodiles are ambush hunters. They wait for fish or land animals to approach them, and then quickly attack. After using its powerful bite, the crocodile drag the victim into the river to drown until suffocation. Then, to tear the bait, it grabbed a piece of meat and then rotated many times to remove the meat. At first, you may think this is difficult, because there is no support, but the crocodiles don't have to worry about that. And as soon as they can smell the blood, five or six other crocodiles swam to express their opinion. If you want to share a meal, there's nothing better than eating someone else's fowl, and often the prey is torn into hundreds of smaller pieces by a powerful jaws and the violent rotations. Despite their slow appearances, crocodiles are excellent predators in their environment, and some species of crocodiles have also been seen to attack and kill lions, 
or larger ungulates, and even sharks. It is the crocodile, the wild strong man that terrorizes many species. Do baboon fins have any advantage against the crocodiles? It is the crocodile, the wild strong man that terrorizes many species. Do baboon fins have any advantage against the crocodiles? Baboons are genius of the mammals in the family Cedocopathis deer, Ministry of Primates. They have a face with a long jaw, with a red stripe in the middle, and two sides of which are blue moustaches. The tail is bluish grey and dark grey, and the private area often has many colours such as pink, blue, magenta or purple. In addition, males are twice the size of females, and they are one of the largest monkeys in the world. The males can weigh up to 37 kilograms and stand 100 centimeters tall, not including the tail. Although they can live in a variety of different environments, such as the tropical rainforest or large canopy forests, they are distributed in semi-desert areas, dry savannas or scrub forests. So most of the baboons today is spent eating, sleeping and moving on the ground. They are distributed along both sides of the Red Sea in Africa and the Arabian region. Baboons usually live in very large groups, up to hundreds of individuals. The average number being about 600 to 800 individuals. They are considered the largest living group of non-human primates. This group is usually a collection of adult females with their young, and males are often solitary and join the group when mating season comes around. The mating behavior of baboons also varies according to the satisfaction in the social structure. In each herd, you will have its own rules. Males can mate with any female in the herd, and even males can fight with each other to find a satisfactory mate. Besides to attract a mate, the male will approach the female, then take care of them and give them food. When agreeing to mate, the female will turn to the red swollen anus to show approval, and the young will be born after six months of pregnancy. At this point, they are all black and weigh about 400 grams. The females in the herd will take turns taking care of the young, and a year later, the baboons will be wound and independent of their mother. Baboons reach sexual maturity between 2 to 8 years of age. Monkeys possess long fangs, so when in danger, they will often have their mouths to stare at the opponent and shake their heads slightly, to slam their hands on the ground and roar to threaten. In the war between crocodiles and baboons, everyone must have thought that the little monkey could not escape the great power of the swamp killer. However, in this world, anything can happen. In the video is a scene of a herd of monkeys standing in the middle of a large swamp. After a long trip, the monkeys got tired and decided to stop to rest. Maybe fatigue caught the monkeys off guard. A monkey was lowering his head to drink some water, when suddenly a crocodile came from nowhere and bit its head. Too fast and too dangerous. The monkey used all its strength to pull out of its head. However, once the delicious bait is in your mouth, you have to eat it. And it's not stupid. Sometimes, even the crocodile did not have anything to put in its stomach for a few days. After trying for a while, without being able to get it out, a monkey in the herd ran up to help. And at first, he was very hesitant, because of fear. With a big, fierce opponent like that, who is not afraid? But fellows are in trouble, and someone cannot help. So he decided to run to his friend, and cling to him, and try to pull him out of the mouth as big as the thoughts of his hideous crocodile. The power of the swamp assassin was too great, and after a while of pulling, he had to give up and let his friend manage on his own. So the unlucky baboon had to fend for himself, continuing to struggle to find a way out of the bloodthirsty man. And with all his might, with his own strength, he broke the stuck head out of the crocodile's hideous mouth and ran ashore. In life, there are difficulties that seem insurmountable, but just try to overcome yourself. Luck will smile at all of us. Hopefully with all of the information shared in the video above, you will have a more understanding about the world of all species. 
There are so many mysteries waiting for us to discover ahead. So please like, share and subscribe to the channel to see some more interesting videos. And now, good day and see you in the next video.